welcome back guys we are still in kindergarten we have concluded 1.1 we've also concluded 1.2 and now we're about to uh, conclude 1.3 to discuss the three types of chart of forex charts and how to read them so let's dive right into this so welcome guys to so three types of forex charts and how to read them in order to study how the price of a currency pair moves you need some sort of way to look at its historical and current price behavior so a chart or more specifically a price chart happens to be the first tool that every trader using technical analysis needs to learn a chart is a simply visual representation of currency pairs price over a set period of time so enough of reading this is the chart this is what you will be seeing and now we have discussed we have said we've said everything we've, we we have uh, we are seeing here it's a visual representation of the historical data of the price of a pair right so now let's talk about the three types of pair what does it what does a price chart represent a chart aggregates every buy a chart aggregates every buy and sell transaction of that financial instrument okay no interested in that this is what we are interested, interested in types of charts okay one we have the line chart the bar chart and the candlestick chart the line chart looks like this this is how it is let me show you a live chart this is a line chart of the prayer of the pair G G G B P J P Y. This is a line chart, right? This is how it is. Can you trade like this? It's not beautiful, right? I mean, it's, what is it? we're just seeing a line. So there are more to this. So let's go back. So now that we've known a line chart, let's look at the other one. Hmm? The bar chart. Now the bar chart is a little more better, right? The bar chart gives us information like how the market opens and closes look here where i'm clicking so this is the bar chart so here we have a bar chart now if you look at it very well on this bar chart you see um a a horizontal line here a horizontal line here and this vertical line here now this horizontal this horizontal line that moves i mean this vertical line that runs up to this point here this is the high of the market and this is the low of the market this is the close this is the open and this is the close so the market price is basically open right the open high they also have a low the low is like the the market opens here right at so price at this point right here where you see this uh, horizontal line that's where the market open now it was going down but it failed to continue to go down instead of going downward it now rose back up and it's got to this high before the market the price is closed at this horizontal line here so that is basically what this uh price uh of the bar chart is always showing you there's nothing more to it right so i've shown you the on the live chart this is what it is that's also what we're discussing here as well so the open the little horizontal line uh, at the top here open this one is the high of the prices and then over a given time period then the little horizontal line on the right is the closing price that's just how the market market opens my friends then we also have the candlestick shots and the candlestick shot is almost related to the uh, uh bar shot, but it's more better and more glaring to see so for the candlestick chart this is the open this is the close this is the high and this is the low of the market that's a candlestick chart for you right so look at the candlestick the body of the candlestick gets filled right and uh, this is a high this is the open and this is the close and this is the high open the close this is for a black and white candlestick so let's add this is someone where they have colors uh for colors he is that becomes uh you know it makes more sense now so for red red is used to determine uh short and green is to use to determine uh buy right so this is the open for the red this is for the close this is in the bearish market right and this is the high because it's open and this is the low 
now this is also the this is the open for because it's going up for grain it's bullish right it's going up from buy uh low sell high right then uh, so it is uh, it's always open at the bottom here and it's you know try as best possible to go up so this is basically how the the, the candlestick uh shots the work the candles work right so there is no too much uh to add to it so uh we are going to discuss candlestick uh in a later section however you should understand that this is just how it is understand that if it's in a bullish market if it is the, the currency the prices are rising the market the price will open at the bottom the it will have a low it will try to go down but it will not go down and it will create a week and it will come back up and close here or if it's in this case where you have a week here price try to close here but the seller step into the market and at the end of the day they were able to close the market here uh, on, a, on, a, on a bullish note now uh, it's for a sell trade if you are short in this market remember if you are selling you sell at the top right and you close your sales when the price are much more lower for you to to make profit so you sell high you buy you buy at the high and you sell it when it is low right for the selling trades so when price is open here right you take your position and sometimes like in this case we have a week here or a shadow right price try to rise back up but the seller step into the market and prices continue to rise to fall all the way down and even down to this low here at this point here you have a shadow but the bulls were in the market as well right and the roof drove price back up however the, the seller stepped in and they were able to close the price here so this is basically how the candlestick patterns they work the candlestick shot work or candles work no two ways about it so with this knowledge with this information we are now done with two course two right of our kindergarten so we have completed course two already congratulations my friends please if you appreciate all we have been doing so far making this course quick and short and concise please subscribe to this channel uh hit the like button if you have any any question drop it at the comment right and we will discuss about that so thank you continue uh, making progress in your school